What's up guys, it's your Motivational Gamer, and today we're going to cover the most exciting news for Summoner's War in a long time, except for, you know, Love Arena, of course. But the most exciting Hall of Heroes in a long time, and that Hall of Heroes is the Dark Rock Shasa Ran. So we're going to talk about Ran's skills today, we're going to talk about what she can be good for, and if you should get her, which is an automatic yes, but <laughs> we're going to talk about that today. So, my girl Ran, the Dark Rock Shasa, her Devil's Whip, third skill, attacks the enemy four times, decreasing the attack bar by 20% with a 75% chance for each attack. This attack is guaranteed a stun for one turn if the enemy's attack bar is depleted. Okay, so you notice how this the 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 skelly is now stunned. So the beautiful thing about that is we're gonna talk about each skill individually here, and then we'll put it all together. Now the beautiful thing, thing about her skill with the four times and the seventy five percent chance to decrease the attack bar is um, if you're running her at speed, which you probably will be anyway, um, if you're running her as a speed damage, I mean, she's clocking over 200 speed, or she's pretty much moving early, especially like in a guild battle rotation, um, she can be really, really nice to control an enemy, especially if they're not ruined will. Or, if you position her after your stripper, um, let's say your stripper goes first, your Praha, your, you know, your Triton, your Soha, whatever, uh, your stripper goes first, and then Rand goes in, um, to you know stun the enemy it gives you an extra layer of control on top of the fact that Rand can deal a considerable amount of damage not to mention the fact that it's a four hitter so that automatically should let you know ahead of time that she is a prime necro unit um, especially when we start talking about skill two now skill two with fast swing attacks three times in a row and inflicts continuous damage for two turns if you land a critical hit so the biggest thing is she attacks three times in a row so she's stacking cons damage as long as you have your you know your crit rate high enough so that's two things gonna let you know a she's prime for necro the seven hits in two turns basically if she's on vile it's essentially one turn if you get a vile proc um, and if you have a crit rate high enough, she's also applying continuous damage. So you're going to want her later later in your attack rotation. So you'll have your, you know, especially if you're building her for Necro, you'll want your shield, your shield clearer. Um, and then you want to get Rand in there to do her thing, reduce it, you know, not reduce the attack bar because it doesn't apply to the Necro boss, but get the continuous damage effects, deal damage, etc., etc. Uh, but either way, um, she is like super awesome okay um, first skill attacks the enemy decreasing the attack speed which is also amazing for necro and um, and then the damage also increases according to attack speed and this is why I mentioned uh, you know building this particular unit with speed and most you know Rakshasas are built with speed is because of the simple fact that you want to maximize the damage on skill one now although the speed cap is, is real and Necro she's still going to be able to bring a lot to the table due to the fact that she applies continuous damage reduces the attack bar not for Necro of course but because she reduces the attack bar um, and because of the simple fact of the stun she brings a lot of versatility comp has been releasing a lot of units to kind of get people squared away if you look at it the fire pandas is basically your super nice lead for Necro with the nice skill kit for Necro. Uh, you throw that in there with Rand. I mean, you're pretty much set for the most part. I mean, you throw Colleen in there and the rest of everything else is is, is cake mix. So um, the biggest thing we're looking at this unit is a lot of questions, the, well, the biggest question that players are going to have on whether or not they should be uh, working on this unit, uh, working on this unit, et cetera, et cetera, or getting this unit. Um, is is when when they're going to use her and because of the fact that she adds continuous damage and all that stuff honestly guys you can use her at any time you can throw her into your dragon's composition you can throw her into your giant's composition uh because of the neutral element um you can also you could wait you could just save her for necro um it just depends you could just use her for pvp that's ultimately up to you however i wouldn't you know, it's not often that Calm releases units that are really, really good. Most of the time, it's just a fodder unit that people are like, oh, I'll just get that and feed it to XYZ. Um, so, in this case, this is actually a unit that's very, 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 very usable. Um, so, I would I would behoove of you, for those of you guys who are only able to clear one, to try to just get one unit. If you guys can do B2 and above, farm as many as your heart desires. But if you guys are only able to do one, try to get at least one. Just get one. Um, you know for your energy expenditure and then that's it just put it on the shelf because B1 is relatively easy for those of you first timers and 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 uh, Hall of Heroes you guys are gonna be in for a rude awakening on how different uh, B1 is to B2 to B3 uh, but with that being said please 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 I behoove you guys get one of these units she her kit is amazing guys 
she is amazing and I feel like even if you don't use her it's always nice to have a unit like this in the background just in case in the future you do decide to use this particular unit um, if you guys are wondering how I'm doing this it's just in the transmogrification skill preview where you guys can go check out monsters and stuff hence why she got her little dominatrix outfit on with a little superhero uh, well, bam you know little superhero shades um, but please 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 get this unit she's she's going to be so helpful um you know in the long run again super tough unit to build how would you ruin her fatal blade to start swift blade to start um and then eventually you can transition into rage blade nemesis will revenge whatever it is that you want to do <laughs> whatever honestly uh it just depends on you know whatever strategy or theory you're you know theory crafting or strategy crafting you're trying to put together in your box but again i would not pass this unit up so like i said guys if you're in b1 get one of these um, if you're in B2B3, get multiples, especially if you, if you guys also need skill ups or if you guys want to get skill ups just specifically for her. Um, but yeah, this is definitely too good of a unit to pass up this Hall of Heroes, so make sure you guys get in there. Uh, with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another video by the Motivational Gamer, me. And uh, we will see you guys next time. Peace.